I hit a BMW. Totally my fault in front of witnesses. And luckily nobody's injured. And it turns out I hit a Chinese couple on a dealership test drive. It gets better because right away the dealer comes out and he's like, my friend, let's not call the cops. Just follow me to the dealership. And I'm like, yeah, mother fuck the police. <laughs> Fucking with me because I'm a teenager with a little bit of gold and a pager. <laughs> I'll stop, sorry. <laughs> I realize NWA lyrics for me sound straight out of Connecticut. I know, I know. <laughs> so we go to the dealership, and it turns out it's not a BMW dealership, but it's K's used cars, where cars is spelled with a K for quality. <laughs> Also with a K. <laughs> so this is where I learned that this Chinese guy is new to America, doesn't have car insurance, and K's cars claims, KKK, <laughs> that they only have car insurance when a car is on the lot. So now this car accident is no longer my fault. Because it's way more legal to drive without car insurance than it is to make a U-turn through 12 lanes of traffic. <laughs> Yeah, I used to think I could only do a U-turn through one lane of traffic. But thanks to self-help books and the power of positive thinking... <laughs> now I can do 12 lanes and a divider. Because dividers are just barriers to our dreams. Like, do you understand? I went through this whole range of emotion from the panic of getting caught red-handed to the relief of getting away with it scot-free. So now, I know how O.J. Simpson felt after the acquittal. Do you understand the irony? I'm such a bad driver, I hit an Asian person. But Asians are so bad at driving, it was still their fault. USA. So I guess the moral of the story is, whenever I'm rolling, keep looking in the mirror and ears on cue, yo, so I can hear ya. You have no idea how hard it was to find two NWA lyrics. <laughs> that a guy as white as me could say out loud. <laughs> the struggle is real.